In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn off depth of field, distant textures being so blurry and adjust your FOV for Fallout 76 for PC. So hello guys, my name is Mr. Orange. Welcome to Streaming Deluxe. So I find I found some awesome news on Reddit. So I'm putting you this link in the description of the video. So it's posted by Crimson B that d so give him uh share him some some kudos so thank you very much for posting this so he also got this information by other members of the community so as always this is a great community let's say work where we all all bring our favorite games forward so yeah what what about this this video about it's about tweaking your any file tweaking your any file of fallout 76 and I would say, yeah, we start immediately here how this goes. So you have to go to documents, my games Fallout 76. So I'll show it to, to you here. So here that's uh, your PC. Then you go to documents, my games Fallout 76. And then you go to the place. Then you go to the place that's set. That's your Fallout 76 preference any so you see it you see it here that's that's the any so and now you go now you go deal you rename this any custom any so you only change here from prefs to custom any and then it's very important that you delete the entire content of the any of the custom any so you, you delete it completely and then you open your WordPad. You can see this here. You open your WordPad and then you can make any changes and they will uh, rule on any other indies any in this file. That's very important. So, and the launcher update, they say they shouldn't mess with it. So we will see this. I, I cannot uh, put my hand into fire for all of the information, but I tested it already and it worked for me and i'm going to show you in in some minutes i'm going to show you some more footage how it's going to look if you're going to use this fallout 76 custom mini so that's the custom mini that i created on the basis of this those informations in the post and therefore i would say yeah let's let's check the post so and then there's some more information so, so you have to take care that you're not writing double any double any so just therefore just change the cost uh, the prefs to custom and then you you copy paste this here display full screen one full screen one borderless zero you copy this into uh into your file into your notepad file and then you copy this therefore fields so very important that you copy those information in the file so you see for example dynamic far range center weighting and far distance and here's some uh, explanation so these are half of what you need to turn off the UF as a default field. That's the that's a blurriness in the uh, in the in, in the far away when you look into the distance in the game, and then you create a really clear game. These also go under the display header, so you copy it just under this header, header. Sorry, and the minimum distance is six six nines and so six times the nines, and or and every other value is eight nines. So below is the second half. all right my friend so yeah and then you go you continue and then you copy this also in this file you copy this in the image space file and that's also going to help you and then there's another explanation in terms of landsphere for example and yeah i mean i have no problem with landsphere but some people uh, don't like lens flare a lot and then we go to the field of view i left it also on 90 and uh, this dude he also says it's better on 90 and before i forget it uh, we also can uh, modify how often we want to have this, the game saved so i have it like also on two so uh yeah on, on, i think it's two minutes so that's that's fine for me so i also saved it on two minutes so and then 
I also I was also implementing FXAA, so uh, I was uh, replacing a temporal anti-aliasing with it. So yeah, I think the fast approximate anti-aliasing FXAA looks also pretty nice. So I can show it to you later in my footage. So you can also put some SMAA. If anyone wants to give that a go and let me know if it works, that'd be great. I'm still at work for a few hours. So I didn't try it out yet. So I wanted to push out this video very quickly that you all get those informations in a, in a nice way. And then I am also disabling, I'm also disabling the, the, the vertical sensitivity. So I'm using I was 60 to nine. I was using this, this part of it most acceleration of course i was also turning this down since i don't like mouse acceleration so much and i was leaving on the grass because i mean i still want to have grass but that's maybe for people that might have some uh, fps problems so it might be useful to to turn off grass so yeah and that's uh, and then you i would say that's the most important information and i'm going to copy you i'm going to copy under my video i'm cop i'm copying my file i'm copying you the the the, the any uh, values of my any custom file and then you just have to copy it into a into a into a customs any so as it is written in the reddit post so, so you get it all together and i think then you you are good to go and uh, yeah and then you can read also the comments if you're interested um, write those people give them some thumbs ups there there are a lot of people uh, trying to find some some uh, new uh, new values so it's also very interesting i think there's a lot of going on now the, the modding scene for this fallout 76 just started so definitely stay stay tuned on this and I get your information on this post so i think that's very really, very really interesting so but my so i i wanted to show especially how you get rid of this blurriness since i also don't like the blurriness a lot and uh, that's for me mostly the i would say the most important part now and the mouse acceleration to turn this off is also pretty cool so therefore i think I think yeah get rid of the blueness that's that's how what is going on here so and now we are jumping directly into some gameplay footage and I show you how my game looks now so welcome back now we have some gameplay footage and uh, I think you can already see immediately the difference so you can already immediately see that that it's less blurry than the regular game so I'm, I'm just drawing a little bit around here. So I'm showing you, for example, there in the background. So that's definitely more clear. So just compare it now with your own game. Maybe you have, you have your just oh, you have your own game now open, and then you can see these issues there. Yeah, and here we're jumping into another in the starting part of the game. So therefore, it might be a little bit more easy to 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 compare that now the starting part in the game with uh, the blurriness or the depth of field that you have at the moment in in your game so yeah you might say it's a little bit more pixelated or you might say you see a little flickering that's true so with the flickering that's definitely uh, an issue if you turn when you turn off the uh, the the depth of field or the blurriness but i would say i personally i prefer having this very tiny flickering uh, far away uh, than than having the blurriness so, so it's immediately my eyes feel like so more clear but of course this takes more power so i was not making now a comparable video with cpu and gpu but it takes more than the other uh, version of the game so i recommend to you to to check this maybe out yourself on your own machine but but yeah it's just important to see is it is this now something in comparison to the blowness where you say it's worth it to, to try to to tweak a little bit the innies and maybe it's the first time you tweak some innies so in this case i would uh, highly recommend you to just try it out i'm doing it regularly with all my bethesda games especially on the vr versions i was tweaking like crazy so my my skyrim vr is super tweaked and my fallout for vr i tweaked a lot too so i think it's actually cool that it's working on the same i think it's the same engine so that it still works on the on the on the online game so very very cool guys so 
I think uh, you're going to enjoy this very much. So, so my friends, I'm leaving it here. I hope uh, this this video brought some value to you. If you really, if you like the real video, feel free to share it and give me a thumbs up. Or if you are interested in more videos in the future, uh, just check. Just yeah, just subscribe to my channel. So uh, and I'm always very happy if you leave a comment. So a little bit more engagement on my channel is is an awesome thing. So, but it's all about creating content that is useful for for the gamers. And I hope I could uh, I would I could contribute a little bit here uh, to the community. And I say thank you very much for for the Reddit community for this great content uh, you can find there. Therefore, it's very important that you check out also their uh, their their page uh, and check out uh, what is written there. And for the rest, you find it in the description under the video. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great day.